Hi, my name is Sandra Timothy. I'm here to tell you about a new Caribbean initiative that is important to me and our island people. I'm in the middle of the famous Boca Reef of the island of Tobago. This beautiful reef is the only marine park in Trinidad and Tobago. It may not seem like much from here, but once you put your head on the water, it's a different story. Coral reefs are home to thousands of species of marine animals and plants, making them one of the richest ecosystems known to man. But reefs are not only important ecologically, they are also extremely valuable to the economy of our islands. Reefs provide essential nursery grounds for fish and shellfish, as well as the sand for our beaches. If we lose our coral reefs, our fisheries and tourism industry will suffer. The sad reality is that we are slowly losing our reefs. An estimated 30% have already died, and unless we do something soon, more will disappear. The biggest threat to our reefs comes from behind me, from our land, from our watershed. The runoff coming from our land is often contaminated with agricultural chemicals and household waste water and even sewage. These damage our reefs. Sometimes the source of the problem is further inland. Like here, in the heart of the colon watershed, the problem is soil erosion due to inappropriate agricultural practices, increased development, wildfire and deforestation. When the rains come, not only is fertile topsoil lost, but our reefs also suffer from sedimentation. A new regional initiative called Integrating Watershed and Coastal Area Management Project is addressing these issues. We are collecting data in the sea and on land, using volunteers and scientists to help us see the linkages between our activities and their impacts sometimes miles away. The task ahead is a challenging one, but with your help, it can be done. I invite you to join me and my colleagues in working towards a more effective and collective approach in managing our watersheds and coastal areas.